Yes, sir! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. Check it out, man. I'm just letting you guys know how 2K has done it again. They have attempted to finesse us and feel like that nobody's gonna notice. I know you guys have noticed because you're smarter than me. Like I said, you've already seen, you see me on the PS4 Pro. You see that I am, um, that, that you, you can tell because people have, there's more detail in the faces and stuff like that. Like when I play it, I mean, you can see way more detail in the face. But what you don't see right here as far as detail is shadows, ladies and gentlemen. This is how 2K has fixed the quote unquote frame rate issues. They've dropped shadows from the players during times of, what would you call it, excess, or, or during times that would that would really tax your CPU and your GPU, they drop shadows from the player. You see him at half court. Look, nobody has a shadow right now except for the guy with the ball. This is Mr. One Away, my top dog. The guy with the ball and one of the people across the half court. Now, this is because how turn how 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 games work. When uh, and, I, and I'll explain that in a second. But uh, you see, when there's a lot of th when there's a lot of things going on, this is what you get. And then the shadows come back to the people in the background as well as the people on the uh, on the court itself. When when we're playing, even the ball, I don't, I, I couldn't tell if the ball shadow went away, but uh, that's not important. What is important is during these turns, people lose shadows. This is 2K's way of remedying the issue. Now, why somebody on another court had a shadow in the first place is beyond me. But it looks like what they've done is like like right here. Okay, take a look. Everybody on the court right here has a shadow. But look at that PS4 Pro detail. I mean, you got so much more detail in the face. And we're gonna we're gonna explore that in a second too. Look up top at the court up top though. Nobody has a shadow up there, if I'm not mistaken, right? Nope, no shadows. Now, what we're going to do is go back to the capture gallery and we're gonna look at a video. And we're gonna break it down while I'm talking. And you know, we'll just we'll just we're just gonna go go right from here. This is what was happening in the beginning. The reason that they take the shadows out during turns is because the, the, the way that video and GPU and all this stuff works, man, the way that it works is this. Um, instead of taxing your CPU, what happens is, instead of, ta instead of taxing your GPU and your CPU more, what the games do is uh, they rep they use the background, what is that, whatever's already rendered, they take that and they just use it over. And like I said, you can see that you can tell that this is the PS4 uh, regular because it seems like there's way less detail in the players' faces. But look on the other courts and things. You see all the shadows out there. Like I said, they've taken the shadows away on the other courts, so that's, that's dropped the number of units. It's something that we used to do in the League of Legends, man. Or, or just any game that we play, anything that people play on, uh, on, on computers and all of that. Things at distance, they're not completely rendering, it looks like. Looks, it looks like they, they drop them out and then they br then they bring them back when when they can handle all of that. But on on the way that it was, just take a look. Everybody's got shadows. Everybody's on the, on the other courts have shadows. Guys walking around in the background have shadows. That whole game that's happening down there, they've all got shadows. So we can tell that this is what they did. But my thing is, if we can take the shadows away, why can't we just take the people away? You know what I mean? Does that make sense? If we if we know that they can go inside the code, because we were saying this the other day, I don't know if they had the wherewithal to be able to make these types of changes, you know, or, or tell the game what to render. I know you can do it at the PC level, because like I said, on the PCs, I don't know why this guy's not guarding me, but hey, trades up! Splash down! Uh, there's nothing wrong with shooting either. But uh, you just need to use my jump shot and take it from somebody that streams and all that. You get to see me shoot all the time. That's what you need to be using. But I don't understand why, if they can turn down the shadows at distance and they can turn down the shadows dynamically, that means that they have the wherewithal to change a lot more things or, or to do a lot more things. Uh, I would think that changing the shadows dynamically would be more difficult than just completely turning them off. Like, if you just turn everybody's shadow off, obviously, the game would look weird, right? So you, you can't have people looking like they're just floating around because that's what it looks like. And I, like I said, I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but obviously, from what I can tell and from what people have told me, turning the shadows off just by itself is not enough. 
it's like people say that they're still lagging on, uh, still, I'm, I'm gonna say lagging, but they're still dropping frames on Xbox, they're still dropping frames on PS4 Slim, they're still dropping frames on the ordinary PS4, and the only thing that appears to be remedying at the time is the Pro. Like, obviously, you're gonna, I don't know why they're not defending me, Green, uh, but it is still cash, though. Go ahead and stick your hat back like Tico the Buds, baby! I don't know, um, and the Xbox Scorpio, I guess that'll be out. When the One X comes out, that's probably when I'm gonna go to Xbox. I'm not going to come to Xbox and 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 try to grind the game and it be choppy. So when the One X comes out, I don't. This dude ain't even coming. Ain't even coming in the game. I don't know what is going on. Maybe he put his controller down. But hey, it is what it is. It got nothing to do with me taking the shot, baby. I still gotta hit it. It might be open. Still gotta hit it. But anyway, I don't know why they don't just purge him from the game. But like I was saying, oh yeah, now he's back. Uh, but like I was saying. I don't understand why we needed to see the shadows of the people at other courts anyway. Why do we need to see things at distance in detail? We don't need to see that. The only We don't even need to see anybody. If I'm on this court, literally the only thing that I feel like should be rendering is me on the court. Maybe the background and stuff, but I don't need to see everybody playing and, and, and being on Got Next or just walking around the neighborhood and coming around. I feel like we don't need to see that. I feel like... If they really want to help the frame rate, and like I said, since we know that they can make dynamic changes and things like that, we should be making people disappear. Complete character models should be disappearing, not just shadows. And again, we know they have the wherewithal to change a lot of this stuff because if you can turn off shadows in a video game, that means that there's code to do, to, to turn off and to adjust a lot more. Like I said, which one would you guys rather have? Would you rather have everything in the background completely clear when you're playing not hear anything not see anything because it's rendering the sound too last year it was rendering the sound and we could hear whistles on the other courts and stuff like that like why was that even a thing but which one would you rather have a nice smooth frame rate or do you want the graphics to be pop and be outstanding if you can't have both would you like to have a nice smooth frame rate or do you need to see people at distance playing on other courts that we can't even tell what's going on we don't care about that i don't care about those three guys on the guy next i don't care about that guy that's walking down the steps that has a shadow but but you know more much less his shadow i don't care about him they can take the graffiti off the wall it's just so many things that they can do to make this game more playable but you know it is what it is it's 2K, they finessed us again, and this is what they call a fix. And like I said, they said it improved the frame rate issues. It didn't fix the frame rate issues, it only improved the frame rate issues. And I'm not gonna lie, I mean, I guess I can see a difference on the PS4, uh, on the, uh, I, I guess you guys are seeing a difference if you have a PS4 or if you have a, if you have a uh, plus or whatever like that, PS4 plus, what I'm talking about. Now, on different courts, this is another thing. It only really happens or helps you on those other courts. On these courts up top, it really does not change anything. And, 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 and it really, I, I don't know why it is. I guess it's just not ignoring those units or it's just fewer units down here. But it would definitely make sense that they say it on certain courts. See, on certain courts, all they've done is just cut out the shadows on people and because this is River City Court, right? Boom, and then the shadows come back. So maybe there is or there always was some type of render distance. And the reason I say that is because on twos, people would always say, well, on twos, you don't lag. Well, twos are further away from everything. So that would make total sense that it's just not rendering. Maybe it just wasn't rendering the shadows and they noticed that on different courts they weren't rendering shadows so they just turned down to render another shadows like i said man we don't need the ambiance just turn off those character models that we can't even see if you're going to keep the ones that are here let's get rid of the 64 character models that are not even playing because they're in my career or, or they're in the gatorade place playing and maybe they have done that but i just don't i just don't see it like i said this is something that we used to do in league of legends we turned down any aliasing we turned down um you turn down detail and you turn off shadows and it makes your game play a lot better. It helps the frame rate. And if they can do this, they can take it a step further and get it to a smooth frame rate. We might not like what the game looks like, but I wouldn't care if it looked like Paper Mario. If I, if I, and I think you, most of you guys wouldn't either. You wouldn't care what it looked like as long as it's a nice smooth frame rate and you can, um, and you can play the game without having to buy another PS4. I mean, I think that that would be the case with most people. But anyway, like I said, it appears that on other courts, it does not do that. 
but on these courts by the door where everything is happening and you're seeing everyone, these are the ones that it appears to be doing it all. But like I said, man, it is what it is. If 2K can do this, they can definitely, if they can change, they can make shadows dynamic. If they can change the shadows based on the number of character models in the screen. And see, you see up there right now, nobody has a shadow on the court in the far and then nobody that's not on the court has a shadow. If they can do this, they can they can take these other character models out of the game and I don't know how much programming it would take, but they can take they can completely alleviate this problem by by continuing to tune the graphics or tune the detail and, and we can be and we can have a lag free game. Some people think it's a ploy to get everybody to buy a PS4 Pro or an Xbox One uh Xbox One X and it could be. I'm not saying that it's not. I'm just saying that they can fix this issue. This is an issue that can definitely be fixed. And if they can tune it and make this happen, and I don't know if you guys even noticed about the shadows going away when the screen turns, because turns, like I said, turns are a ton of information. It can't replicate the background and just, just change what it needs to change. So it has to change the entire picture when you turn. And that's why that happens. But there are times when you're in the half court set and it's just God awful as well. Some people say it's like after two or three games, it's, it's pretty much over with. So um, I don't know, man. You guys let me know if you're still having frame drop issues and, and do you care if 2K just completely kills all the character models and just change your render distance to just the court? If, um, if you get a nice smooth frame rate. If you like, what I'm saying is if I'm on this court here while I'm playing, it looks like the park is empty. Would you care? And then when you step off the court, you know, everybody's restored, obviously. But when you're actually in game, it will look like the park is empty and it will be nice and cool for you. That's pretty much what's happening on the twos, right? So I don't think anybody would care. I think we just want frame rate over graphics. And this is something that Hard Eight Times and other people have always said. Gamers want frame and uh, Black Bond, all that. Frame rate over everything. We'll deal with the graphics later, but we have to have a nice, stable, smooth frame rate. But it is what it is, man. Some people might like how it looks and they like the ambiance and they can deal with a choppy uh, frame rate. I don't know. It's up to you, man. I'm going to get up out of here, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you guys learned something. And I'll do the defensive tutorial video and how to get bruised and all that later. Like I said, I got bruised in like a day and a half, so if, if that. But um, I'm out of here. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Holla! This is what happens when you have a game that you did not test. And we are the public beta testers, but we're paid beta testers. You know they didn't test the game, and let me tell you why. You had the game there at 2K Studios, and nobody sent anybody a squad invite. Nobody sent a squad invite even once to know that there's a bug that you have to send them twice nearly every single time. Just, just nobody sent anybody a squad invite ever. What? Who, who, who's testing the game? You know what I'm saying? I had something else that I was like, it, that was just pure elementary. But, uh, you know, oh, yeah, you never pushed the service to capacity. So all the people at 2K, I don't know how many people work there. Let's say if there's 80 people that work there, all 80 people were never in one park at one time? Or were they and they knew that it was laggy, so they went to different parts? I don't know. But if you never stress tested these servers to see what would happen and you never sent anybody a squad invite while you were testing it, that's just that's just pure irresponsibility. That's just irres that's just irresponsible by by the developers, man. Like at least I can understand not pushing the servers to, to capacity and just doing a stress test. But come on, dude. Nobody sent anybody a squad invite. I guess they would they wouldn't have a reason to. But still, you didn't even test it. Let's be real, man. And then nobody that went out there to play the game tested it either, man. It is what it is, man. Like I said, man, I'm still shooting the cover off the ball. They don't need to change shooting. And uh, we just need more accountability from 2K. That's all, man. It is what it is. I still like the game. I mean, it, it's cool. I can enjoy it. I'll play it just as long as I play 2K17. But I just feel like these are things that should have been addressed prior to the game's launch. And then not only do we have to buy the game, but we have to spend another 50 on top of the game just to be able to enjoy it optimally. You know what I'm saying? It's just so many things in the game. I mean, you got glitches and everything. It's a gl glitch for everything. People still are not a swags. It is what it is, man. I'm gonna get up out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. I hope you come back. And uh, let me know what other kind of videos you wanna see, man. Who else putting up all these buckets out here, man? Probably ain't your favorite YouTube because they can't get no gameplay. But I got I got gameplay for days, man. Listen, man. Let me let me understand y'all something. Nearly in in nearly all these games, 
and nearly anything that I got, I scored like 12 to 15 points or more, man. There's just tons of gameplay from last week. So, I mean, but y'all watch me stream, though, man. Y'all know I stream, so y'all know how consistent I am. I'm re I, I really do this for real. But I didn't talk too long, man. Oh, shoot, I'm in Gatorade right working out my dang self. I'm messing it up for somebody else, baby. Put these headphones on so we can not hear that music. Uh, I'm messing it up for somebody else. Look at the amount of character models. Look, look, just look, just look. One, two, look at the amount of character models that are doing absolutely nothing that this game is keeping track of right here. It's like 50 people right here that are doing absolutely nothing that the game is keeping track of. And then you go around to the park. So all these guys got have shadows, had shadows or whatever. He's got a shadow at range. Maybe that guy don't have a shadow at range. Maybe this is something that they changed or whatever. Yeah, he don't have a shadow up there at range. But uh, let me see. As I get further away, do they get a shadow? It looks like the shadows go away at distance, but that could have always been the case. But look at the amount of character models that were there. It's keeping track of all of that. I'm gonna go around here to the park and we're gonna take a look at this and then I'm gonna let you guys go, man. I know you I know you guys don't care about this. Maybe you do care about this stuff. I just got a technical background, man. So like I can see things and I can see how they work and why they work. That's why I got that's why I have this guy right here doing windmills and all of that, because I can look at the game and I don't exploit the game. What I do is I take a look at the game and I see what it's going to allow me to do. So yeah, I mean this park is hopping. The park is hopping. There are people here, but there's like 50, there's an equal number of character models that are around the corner that are still there. So now, now let's just let's just be funny though. I want to be funny and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go back around there. If I had a bike, if I had a really hit 90, this would be so much better. But um, if I had a bike, this would be better too. So we're gonna go around there, we're gonna see if they're still hey, ladder eight. Um, we're gonna see if there are still a gang of character models there. Maybe they're all gone, maybe they switched my server, maybe they didn't. But Mr. 60 was right there. Actually, you really don't disappear though. I mean, or maybe he just got up out of here though. But we're gonna see if those same amount of character models, that ridiculous number of character models is still there. And like I said, like that's the real problem. Those shouldn't be there. And people aren't just popping in. They might be popping in, joining their friends, but, and maybe they changed some, some things, like I said, at distance so you don't see anything, but it really appeared that the only thing that was disappearing at distance was names. Yep, still a ludicrous number of character models that are being accounted for for literally no reason. So it is what it is. He running down the street like Red from uh, Friday. He gonna cry in the car. I mean, it just is what it is, man. Like I said, I feel like this is the issue and uh, it's something that, that I feel like this is way more taxing on the CPU than, than just removing shadows. I just feel like these guys shouldn't be accounted for. Maybe that's something that they did change too. It is what it is, man. I have already talked too long. You guys take it easy. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you hit up all the live streams. I'm probably gonna live stream later tonight. And uh, we'll get up out of here. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, AKA Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Champ. Holla! Be six out this mug.